Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys a few traditions we decided to not include in our wedding. Now these are obviously beautiful traditions and elements to a wedding, but to each their own, you don't need to include certain things. We definitely did not, even though we had people in our ear saying that we needed certain things. At the end of the day, it is our wedding, it is our decision, and we are more than happy with the way things turned out on our wedding day so i hope you guys enjoy this video and find this video helpful number one physical invites we decided to opt out of doing physical invites instead we created our own invites and sent them out through email and had our guest rsvp through our wedding website the reason why we did not want to do physical invites is because we couldn't wrap our head around the cost of getting physical invites made and to think that eventually they were just going to be thrown in the garbage anyways we just could not pull the trigger on it we of course printed ourselves ones for keepsakes but that's just about it number two a wedding registry we we have been living together for about two years before getting married so we do have everything that we have also we do live in a condo so we are pretty limited to space and storage and i know asking for a monetary gift can be awkward but i feel like at this day and age that's what people gift at weddings anyways number three something old something blue i did do something new which is basically my whole entire look but for something old i honestly could not find anything that was meaningful enough to add to my wedding look and same goes with something blue but my husband did do something blue that was part of his wedding look so i will pop up a picture right here number four wedding day gifts we did not want to do this at all honestly the whole entire wedding day was already a gift but it was also going to be my husband's birthday four days after our wedding and i already knew what i was gonna get him and it was pretty expensive so honestly just did not want to do it in general we both didn't want to do it but it is a cute idea for our photos and videos number five first look i honestly love the anticipation and the emotion of both a bride and a groom seeing each other for the first time walking down the aisle that is just my opinion i know there are brides especially that want to do a first look because they don't want to ruin their makeup or anything like that but i just love the idea of a bride and groom seeing each other just at the ceremony for the very first time it's just cute it's so emotional i just can't get over it whether you know i no honest honestly i did not cry at all i was just like smiling from ear to ear but i just love all the emotions that come with it number six and seven a flower girl and a ring bearer we decided not to include either of those because we did not have anyone in our family that was young enough to be a flower girl and a ring bearer that's pretty much it number eight having our wedding party stand at the altar with us during our ceremony our wedding party did not if anything they only really stood up there for like two minutes and that was just a longevity of me walking down the aisle but that was pretty much it at the time one of my bridesmaids was heavily pregnant and i just could not think about her standing up at the altar for 20 minutes on a summer day that's really it and honestly even if she wasn't pregnant i still would not have the wedding party stand at the altar with us because that is a really long time and i want them to be comfortable and watch us and have a great view of us getting married number nine throwing rice rose petals or having our guests blow bubbles as we exit the ceremony honestly i think it is cheesy that is again it's just my opinion but i did not want to include that in our ceremony at all number 10 and 11 is the garter toss and bouquet toss I spent so much money on my bouquet. It was about $350. There was no way I was going to throw that. And also I was not going to spend money on buying a second bouquet to throw. 
And as for the garter toss, I just think it is so awkward to do that in front of a family and friends. It's just really weird. Like, again, to each their own, I just think it's really weird and awkward, especially in front of our parents. Number 12, a last dance. We did not do a last dance. The end of the night ended up being a pretty hectic night especially trying to get out of the venue on time and making sure the venue was clean and all that yeah we did not do a last dance but also we never planned to do one anyways and for the last three they are filipino traditions we decided to not include so the first filipino tradition being is the cord and veil i just knew i did not want to do that i can see how symbolic that can be but honestly i can't even tell you because i don't really know what it really means i never really looked it up anyways number two godparents we did not have any godparents to be a part of our wedding also i just feel like people have godparents to collect more money i don't mean that for all filipinos but just for some and lastly a money dance we did not want to do a money dance especially because we asked for a monetary gift and we did not want to have our guests give us any more money than they have already but also no one is pinning money to my dress nobody is poking holes into my dress and nobody is poking holes into my husband's suit that's really what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. And if you guys did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, go do that right now. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.